All right, ladies and gentlemen, so the topic for today is why modern women fear relying on men. And it should be noted that I'm not against women or anything like that. I'm not a chauvinist. I'm not a misogynist. I'm not anything of the sorts. I'm a man of God. I'm a man of Yah. So with that being said, why is the modern woman afraid of relying on men? I've seen a lot of times, a lot of different women are not wanting to actually submit to a man, which I know even the word submit is a trigger word for some of you, so keep that in mind. But the reason that they don't want to submit to a man is because of the financial restrictions that may come about. You know, a lot of the times women want to make their own money, and it's like, you know, I'm not against that. I'm not against women making their own money. Go ahead. But you should know that if you put your career before your family, then you are not a traditional biblical woman. And no righteous man that is of Yah is going to take you seriously. And you should understand that. And if you can be okay with that, well, then don't get upset 10, 20 years down the road when you can't find any good men. But really, I, I think what it's also about is it's about control. It's about the fear of being out of control and not being able to trust in men. You know, it's it seems to me that a lot of the social media talks right now and a lot of the trends are all about relationships. They're all about what kind of relationship can thrive. And, you know, that's really what I'm here to do. A lot of people may think of this video as something that is, again, misogynist or chauvinist or anything like that. But down the line, in 10 years, when things get way worse for a lot of different women, and when men are even lonelier than they are now, they're going to look back to this video and they're going to say, oh, oh, he really was trying to help. He really was trying to make a difference. So just keep that in mind as well. But you know, men, you have to understand that these modern women get pleasure out of hurting you. They, they get pleasure out of rejecting you. I've had in my past, now I've dealt with a lot of different kinds of women, and I've had women in my past that literally bragged about rejecting me after I asked them out or after I told them that I liked them. And this was, you know, again, this was years ago, but I had people around me telling me that she was bragging about rejecting me and she was very proud that she was able to reject me. And I was just, I thought to myself, like, why would you lead someone on just to reject them? Why would you do that? And, you know, I had my own faults as well, and I had my own simp-like ways that I do not, absolutely do not adhere to now. And men, you have to really just not give a fuck. You, you have to not give a single solitary fuck anymore. I wish I could say that this wasn't the case. I wish that I could say that you know, if you are a family, if you are openly declaring to women, look, I want to be a husband someday. I want a family. I want to raise a family. I want to be the breadwinner of the family. I want you to be able to stay home and help the kids because, you know, that's, that's what the biblical hierarchy of life is. Christ is over the man, man's over the woman, and woman is over the kids. And that's just the natural way and that's the godly way of life. But men, you you cannot <clears throat> you cannot think about these women as marriage material anymore. At least these modern women. And I also want to read a passage from Leviticus 21:11 through 14. And the reason for this is because I have never heard this before until I read about it recently. I've never heard about this before. 
This is God's law, okay? This is God's law. This is the righteous law. And I'm just going to go ahead and read it. It says, He must not enter a place where there is a dead body. He must not make himself unclean, even for his father or mother, nor leave the sanctuary of his God or desecrate it, because he has given and dedicated by the, he has been dedicated by the anointing oil of his God. I am the Lord. The woman he marries must be a virgin. He must not marry a widow, a divorced woman, or a woman defiled by prostitution, but only a virgin from his own people. I've never heard of that shit before. I've never heard of that being preached ever in any kind of gospel apart from the actual book itself. And that's why you see so many single women at churches. That's why you see so many just lost men at churches now. They do not know where else to go. But the preacher is not preaching. The preacher is not preaching, y'all. No, that's not what's happening. That's not what's happening anymore whatsoever. You have to read the book. And you have to really think about it. Because everything that you could possibly think about in regards to living a fulfilled life is in the Bible. That's what I've come to the realization recently. It's like, no, the Bible is not just a religious book. The Bible is a historical artifact that is a living document that is so profound in of itself because it demonstrates to us that in like in in proverbs where it talks about a woman that would destroy her own household she she's going to do that and that's the modern woman these kinds of women existed a long time ago it's not like they just like showed up in the modern woman, but it's being more encouraged now more than ever. And look at where society's going. Look at where society's going. Does this really look like the society that we want to grow in? No, these are there are malignant roots that are deeply, deeply rooted in our society. And you can you can tell men that th these modern women don't know when to stop. They don't know when to stop because they haven't been taught how to stop. They haven't been taught self-discipline. They haven't been taught self-respect. And it's it's so it, it's so hard to watch sometimes. It, it's so hard to to watch these women defile themselves but i want to go back to the scripture just for a moment and I'll, i will touch more on what i just said in, in another moment as well but i want to make these lines clear for for the men out here when it says he must not enter a place where there is a dead body if a woman's got skeletons in her closet that she's not telling you about. It's best to just walk away, man. It is best to just leave. He must not make himself unclean even for his father or mother. This also goes in line with Jesus saying that those who, who love me and those who are not willing to... I can't, I can't remember the actual, like phrasing of the verse but it says something like you have to deny your father and your mother doesn't he who does who he who does not de de deny his mother and father does not deserve me something like that i think it's in matthew and someone in the comments can help me out with that but it says also nor leave the sanctuary of his god or desecrate it because he has been dedicated by the anointing oil of his God, I am the Lord. The woman he marries must be a virgin. 
Hello. Well, that cancels out pretty much 99% of women, modern women, that is, nowadays. I don't even remember the last time I met a virgin. For anybody that is of the older generation watching this, that should tell you something. We're long past that now. And we have to course correct immediately. Else it, it will continue to get worse before it gets better. But I thought that was so interesting. Like, this is God's law right here. The woman he marries must be a virgin. And I actually remember one of the comments that I had in one of my semen retention videos. Someone said something about there's no diamond if if there's no... I can't remember the phrasing that he used. But basically he just said that if she's not a virgin then she's not getting a diamond. And then it goes on further. It says he must not marry a widow, a divorced woman, or a woman defiled by prostitution. Well, that basically is OnlyFans right there. And then the divorced woman. I mean, when was the last time, apart from, like, if if women were really in a rough situation... Like, if they had a narcissistic relationship, they needed to get get out. And it wasn't just, like, the women were choosing these wrong men for them. And they kept choosing the wrong men. And they didn't know, they didn't have any recourse in their actions. They didn't have any kind of understanding in their actions. And again, you know, before I go further, I'm not here to condemn women. I'm just speaking the truth. I'm not here to degrade women. I'm here to speak the truth. I'm here to really give people an understanding and an education, a a biblical, informative video that is based in truth. I have facts and I do not care about your feelings. So any woman or any man that is watching this that is getting offended, you know, I'm glad that I'm offending you. I really am. Because at least you're listening. At least you're listening to what I'm saying now. At least at least you're getting at something. And I don't I don't like hurting people's feelings. I don't like doing that. But guess what? We we can't give fucks when we don't have any fucks to give anymore literally and in, 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 uh, metaphorically we have to change our society for the better and it starts with us right here right now that's why I'm doing semen retention that's why I'm not taking women very seriously anymore it's that they don't take themselves seriously and women will flat out say it. I, I was talking to a woman the other day. She showed potential. And then she was talking about how she doesn't take life very seriously. And I was immediately turned off. So many things have happened in her life. And, and yet she still doesn't take it seriously. When are you going to take it seriously? When are you going to start taking it seriously? Men, if if the women in your life have not chosen the Most High, if they have not chosen a path that follows God's laws in some shape or form, now, if, 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 if she has accountability... If she recognizes and is honest with herself, well, then at least you can work with that woman. You know, at least she knows where she stands and at least she's humbled enough to say to say to herself, like, yeah, I don't know what I bring to the table. I don't know what's going on for me that I can bring to add peace to a man's life. I know I'm bitter. 
in these places. And I'm working on it. Well, at least you can work with her, right? Like at least you can at least you can have some kind of foundation to build off of. With a lot of a lot of these modern women, they're not even they're not going to take accountability. They're not going to take responsibility for their actions. They're going to do what they do, and then they're going to get really upset and blame men. That's what happens the majority of the time. With men, men, it seems to me men that are having relationship problems with women, they end up doing one of two things. Well, actually, I guess one of three things. Number one is they become the simp that sacrifices his biological imperative to raise another man's child or he gets super resentful and is almost like the black pill as it's, as it's called and just super just I, I guess you could say cynical about everything in life and then there's the third person there's the third person that learns how to adapt now I'm going to adapt I recognize that a lot of these women out here are not who they say they are. And a lot of these religious women, I've had religious married women hit on me. That is so wrong. Like at church, which I stopped going to, I had, I was at church and married women were hitting on me while their husbands weren't around. Their husbands were off talking to somebody else. And I thought to myself, this is, man, y'all got a poltergeist in this church. Y'all got devils in this church. This isn't a church. Man, you got, there is another thing. If you do get involved with a woman, you got to guard your almond milk. If you know what I mean. Guard your almond milk because you don't want that almond milk going somewhere that that it you you don't want it going somewhere that it doesn't need to go. That's another reason why I'm on retention is because I'm recognizing that there's a lot of the times the people that have sexual relationships that are involved with one another and they end up either getting an abortion or the man has to pay child support until the child's 18. You know, I've read a bunch of horror stories and I've heard about a lot of horror stories on men and what happens to them. I mean, there is no, men have zero reproductive rights, zero in the United States. And yet women, these modern women, not traditional women, have the gall to say that we live in a patriarchal system. There is no rights for men, for a man to opt out of child support. I heard a story of a guy that wanted to do the right thing. He wanted to do the right thing, ended up going to court to try to be with his children and ended up having to pay $10,000 to the state. Why? Because he missed a couple years before. And that none of that money went to the actual family. It went to the state. So let's ask ourselves who really gets more out of and more benefits out of women being single and single mothers who really gets the benefits it's not the women and it's sure as hell not the men i mean i guess it could be like a lot of the times (laughs) there's a lot of peace without certain kind of relationships like that but It's certainly not men and it's certainly not women because we complement one each other. We're meant to be together. 
Like we're we're meant to interact with each other. No, it's the government. The government is the one that is getting all of the benefits. The government is getting all of the money. It it sickens me. Like it literally sickens me to my stomach to think about these things. To think about how far we've come as a society. And to think about just who came before me. And how much and how how less everything in our society really is. There's not much true love or truth. True love is just loyalty, I think. That, that's the best way I can describe it is loyalty. True love is loyalty. It's nothing else. Whereas we have so much less freedom. We have so much less freedom and, and people, some, some people joy at it. Some people are so enticed by the kind of control that they get that they don't realize that they're limiting their own faculties of creation and there are what are there like 20 to 60 different ways for a woman to like you know take the day after pill or be on birth control or any kind of there's a lot of different ways to uh, and a lot of different pills that women can take to not get pregnant, right? But really, men, the only thing that really can protect them is a condom. And even a condom isn't, like, going to save you all the time. Like, condoms don't even work 100% of the time. There's no guarantee. And honestly, if you're involved with a woman, man, and y'all are intimate, you best be prepared to have a child with that woman. That's why I take S like SR semen retention so seriously. I take SR so seriously because I know that if I'm going to be with an actual woman, a, a woman of Yah, then I'm, I'm going to actually plan to have a future with this woman. And it is just so profound to me how how little women really appreciate that. Now, there are women that do, but the modern woman, forget about it. They take they take everything for granted. They they really do. And it's it's hard to watch. It's just they're very difficult to watch. It's hard to watch these young women just throw their purity away. And all for what? Cheap thrills? Cheap thrills. Cheap thrills and phalluses. It's it's not... It's just not conducive to a proper and a an orderly society. You know, it's 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 like you have to get to a point, men, where like I don't even want certain women looking me in the eye. Because it's like I know you're not on my spiritual level. And it's not about me being better than you. It's just that we like even looking in your eyes i can see the jezebel spirit i can see the disruption of your soul and you best not look me in the eye woman i don't want to see you i don't even want to look your direction because i know 
Like there is something that happens with men when they know that a woman is kind of a S L U T. There's something that happens in the biology of a man when he realizes and with his own two eyes, he sees that the woman is at S L U T. Like, let's say you are trying to court a woman and then you are seeing that she's still got a lot of male orbiters around and they're looking at her like, (laughs) you're like, oh, shit, that's exactly how I looked when I looked at women that I used to be around, if you know what I mean. And if I haven't seen them for a while, I would see them and we'd give each other that look to see if they still, we still want each other, you know, and you're thinking, oh, if she's doing that with all these other guys in front of me, (laughs) forget about it. And then these same women want you to marry them. Please, you got to be out of your fucking mind. You got to be out of your damn mind. There ain't no way that's going to happen. There is not any way that's going to happen. At best, remember, you're going to be a concubine. At best, you're going to be some kind of... Of side chick. And I'm not saying a concubine is something to be disrespected or disregarded of. A concubine is simply a woman that is not of the status of a married woman. Perhaps being married is not her thing. Or perhaps this woman had a really bad past and now she knows that she isn't quite as marriage material as she thought she was. And, you know, if she knows where she's at, if she knows her place, there's nothing wrong with that. If she's humbled herself enough, that's good. But these women, these modern women, are out of control. And as men, we can lead them, we can guide them, or... We can leave them. Leave her where she's standing for all I care. So, I think we've gotten to the end of this video. There's a lot more to say on this topic, of course. And women, if you got offended watching this, know that, and and I mean no disrespect, but Your opinion on this channel, on this topic, it doesn't really matter because this is more for the men. And if you know your place and if you can speak facts, then that's good. Then we can work with you. But if you're just offended to be offended, I can't help you there. There's not much we can do. So with that being said, I hope this message was informative and insightful. Till next time, peace.